Hi, my name is Celestina Foreman. And I'm Willa Sipple. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. After the midterm elections, the nation's party politics have been as polarized as ever. In Northampton especially, people who don't identify as a Democrat or agree with the overwhelmingly liberal agenda are sometimes not represented. We hear a lot about inclusivity in this environment, which raises the question of how far does this inclusivity extend? We wanted to take a closer look at the conservative population at NHS, so we sat down with former Young Republicans advisor Whitney Russell to understand why he supports the conservative platform. I am a conservative Democrat. So a conservative Democrat isn't quite natural to Northampton or New England. The Democratic platforms have evolved from my first vote, which was the Kennedy era back in the early 1960s, They've changed more to be progressive, socialist, and radical. And Republicans have shifted to the right. So there's a chasm in the middle, and I've tried to find a way of um, being in that middle ground. I wince and turn away uh, from more excessive extremes, though there have been moments in my life when I myself have gone there, usually mistakenly, I would encourage tolerance and acceptance and open hands rather than closed. We wanted to speak with some conservative students at NHS to get a sense of what it's like to be a conservative in an overwhelmingly liberal climate. I generally support more conservative platforms because um, I, I have always sort of thought of government as something that's more wasteful as opposed to being effective in uh, solving issues. I do sometimes feel out of place, but generally people are pretty accepting of opposing views if a little confused. Generally I try to keep politics out of my normal day-to-day -day interactions disagree with a lot of the democratic platform. Um, I'm, I'm conflicted on a few things Republican, but generally I'm, a, I'm just a constitutionalist, so I sort of stick to what that says, and I think it's pretty clear cut on most things. Regardless of what we support, it is important to realize that we are all human beings and should be treated with dignity and respect. Thanks for watching. This was Tell It Like It Is.